Good morning, my Tubies, TikTokers, and my Twitters. Sheila True Love here with you. Today is Thursday, uh, March 30th. Today is March 30th, 2023. It's going to be a great day. I love you. Jehovah loves you. And so does Jesus Christ. And today we're going to talk about being decisive. And we're going to focus on Proverbs chapter 16, verse 9, where it says, A man's mind plans his way, but the Lord directs his steps and makes them sure. Some people struggle to make decisions. They let the fear of making a wrong choice paralyze them, and they end up wasting a great deal of time in indecision or being indecisive. But we can be confident that God will direct our steps if we learn to listen and lean on him. Having a plan is not wrong, but be sure to keep your plans before Jehovah God and Jesus Christ and be willing to change them if they indicate that that's what you should do. Pray about the decisions you need to make. And then do what you feel peaceful about doing. Now, I believe that Jesus Christ, he guides us by his word, his peace, and his wisdom. And as we trust him more and more, he can cause our thoughts to become agreeable to his will. And you can check out Proverbs chapter 16, verse 3. Jesus Christ, he knows your heart. And if you truly want his will... He will guide you to the right place, even if you take a few wrong turns on the way to where you need to go. Now, one of the prayers that we can pray, uh, we can pray and say, Heavenly Father, Jehovah, I want your will more than anything else. As I take steps of faith, please guide me. If I am going in the wrong direction, I trust you to redirect me my steps, and thank you. I say this in the name of your son, Jesus Christ. Amen. So there you have it, my darlings. It's learning how to make the proper decisions. Before I do anything or make any decisions, I tell people, you know what? I'll pray about it and I'll get back to you. Let me get back to you. Uh, and then I go in prayer to Jehovah. And then I turn off everything and I sit back. And I just stay in a quiet place. And nine times out of 10, the Holy Spirit guides me anyway in terms of what I should do. That includes cutting people off, whether I should keep a person in my life. Should I make them a part of my team or should I cut them off? And I have cut off so many people. Please. Anyway, how well do you know your Bible? Your Bible trivia questions for today. What is the name of the river? in which John the Baptist baptized people? Was it A, the Euphrates, B, the Nile, C, the Jordan, or D, Tigris? Next question. John the Baptist was put in prison for declaring that Herod had broken what law? Was it A, lying, B, murder, C, violating the Sabbath, or D, adultery? Number, uh, your, your third question, who asked Herod for the head of John the Baptist? Was it Herodias A, was it B, the daughter of Herodias, or was it C, Sapphira, or was it D, Candace? Your uh, last question for today, when Jesus heard that John the Baptist had been arrested, where did he go? Did he go to A, Jerusalem, B, Nazareth, C, Galilee, or D, Bethany? Okay, so let's see how well you know your Bible. And I want you to have a great day. And I will see you tomorrow, if God and Christ is willing.